good morning. It's Thanksgiving morning, and Pastor Trevor and I um, wanted to prepare just some little special recognition of this day. We wanted to especially tell you how grateful we are for you, how grateful we are to be part of this church and to live in this community of faith, to live out our faith with you. So I prepared a prayer. Um, we're going to have some other little pieces of this worship. It won't be long this morning, but it's just a, a few moments on this Thanksgiving day to say how grateful we are for so much. I even made a list. So will you join me in prayer? Holy God, here in our church, there is so much I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for our history, for those people who've gone before us, who committed so much to this church and made it what it is. We really, in so many ways, stand on their shoulders, and I'm so grateful, Lord. I think of all those persons who've gone before us. Lord, I'm grateful for every meal we've ever shared, and here in our church, we love to share meals together. I know that's part of our Thanksgiving celebration, and I give you thanks for every time we've been able to sit down at table with good conversation and good food and good people. I give you thanks, Lord, for every sunrise. It gives us a sense of assurance that a new day has started. And I give you thanks for every sunset that draws us into a time of rest. I give you thanks for people here at our church who are figure it out people that when we come up against something we don't know what to do or how to handle, and, and that's been so apparent in recent months, we figure it out and go forward. People who can talk to each other, share what they're feeling and thinking, and then come to some resolution. And it always feels like you're right in the middle of it, Lord. I give you thanks for that. I give you thanks for friendship. I cannot count how many moments I have felt the friendship of someone else here in our church, I give you thanks, Lord, for all the friendships that have made, for the way that we love and support each other. And laughter, Lord, we love to laugh. And when we are together, it isn't long before laughter rings out. And that, at its core, is your joy, your presence with us. I give you thanks, Lord, even for the challenges that, come, that we come up against, the way that we have, these have been an opportunity to grow in faith, and to grow in character, to discover who we are, and more importantly, Lord, to discover who you are. That's the story of our church, always, always discovering in greater ways who you are, Lord. I give you thanks for our children. I'm grateful for those who've gone before us, but Lord, it's our children who will lead us into a new time. And you've given them such gifts and abilities. They are such a joy to us. I give you thanks for our young people, our children, for our young adults. I give you thanks, Lord, for the future. And I come to you admitting this morning on this Thanksgiving Day, we are uncertain about our future. We don't really know how this will all play out. But we do know this, you will be with us. Because that's part of your love, that it pours into our lives and it sustains us day after day after day. When we say you are our eternal God, that means in all times and all places forever. And we give you thanks. When we don't know much, we do know that. And Lord, finally, I give you thanks for your love. It's been expressed in so many ways here in our church and beyond. I give you thanks for your love, which finds itself in justice, in compassion, in mercy, in forgiveness. All the ways that we know you, that your love sustains us just when we need it. And finally, Lord, I give you thanks for Christ, for his way of being and loving and living and teaching, for the sacrifice he made that showed us what it means to truly love, to give ourselves over to a greater cause. All of this, Lord, on this Thanksgiving morning, this isn't the Thanksgiving we maybe had planned months ago. It maybe isn't the Thanksgiving we had hoped for, but it still is a time of thanksgiving, of thanking you for the lives that we live and the people we share it with in your unending love. So Lord, thank you for this Thanksgiving day. In the name of your risen son, amen, amen. Well, happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you. 
began this worship event with Thanksgiving. And I call on you now to move out into the world with Thanksgiving on this day. Oh, give thanks to our God who is so good, whose love stands firm forever. Let Thanksgiving enhance the joys you experience. Let Thanksgiving transcend the pains you may suffer. Let Thanksgiving sweeten the duties you must perform. Let Thanksgiving underpin the griefs you may have to endure. Oh, give thanks to our God who is so good, whose love stands firm forever. The love of the Redeemer, the love of the Creator, and the fellowship of the Counselor be with you now and always. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving.